everyone this is andy from tech store and in this video going to be showing you the procedure to basically uh, disassemble rip apart the hp pavilion 15 cc series of laptop that has been launched recently at the end of 2017 uh, they've launched this and uh, this year is 2018 uh, february when we are shooting it so this will be a very handy video for people who want to upgrade the hard drive uh, SSD, if they want to install or if they want to upgrade the RAM, remove the DVD writer, put another hard drive, Wi Fi chip, everything basically. So, once we entirely open the laptop up, uh, the motherboard also is accessible. So, if you want to replace the motherboard, you can go ahead with this particular video. Now, if your laptop is uh, something like this, it might be a gray or it might be a blue in color. And uh, once you opened up, it has this uh, silver finish. And uh, if the base of the laptop looks something like this, then you can apply this particular video. Now to start things up, you need to have a screwdriver set. A star screwdriver is a must on this. You need a tweezer like this. You need uh, priors, uh, different kind of priors that are available in the market. A triangle prior, whichever you have handy, you can have it. As well as you need to have this partition box to keep the screws of different parts of the laptop into different compartments so that it becomes easy for you to disassemble. So first thing you need to flip the laptop and uh, you see all these screws, all these screws over here. Apart from that, there are screws that are hidden below the, these rudders actually. So you need to remove uh, the rudders and there are screws hidden below it. So start removing from here using a tweezer there are two screws here another two screws over here one screw over here another screw over here so these two screws and these two screws are different you need to keep them separately in the hinges compartment and these are the base screws so let's start removing the screws one by one all right uh, we have this one screw that remains here so people who want to actually replace the dvd writer they just need to remove this one screw so we'll just remove this uh, one screw over here and just uh, pull out the dvd writer from its uh, area now this dvd writer is a 3.5 sata dvd writer and uh, it is 9.5 mm if you want to replace it with the caddy as such you can take a similar dvd writer and insert it now you should know that there are different screws for different compartments. Now the hinges screws are entirely different. The screws which are there over here, one, two, three, and four are different in size. They are smaller ones. And the screws that are there over here, one, two, and three, they are again longer and different in size. So three different screw sets for this particular laptop space. So be very careful because if you're going to be inserting a wrong screw, then you might just protrude the touchpad area and it might uh, just break the whole thing. All right, now that the screws have been removed, we need to remove the base now. And uh, for that, uh, there's a small trick that you should know. This is the part which is the loose end and you need to start prying from here only. So just take a, a prior and uh, start prying from here. Once you have uh, pried over here, then uh, you need to just start removing it and uh, wherever the loose ends are, it's a little too held on to, onto this, especially this particular part over here. Just try to very gently
yeah so this part just gives away so the base is removed and you have it in front of you all the components absolutely easily accessible to replace or upgrade now the best part about this laptop is the m.2 slot that they have given here the photograph of which is popping up in front of your screen right now and this is the long m2 m.2 ssd that you can put over here there are two dim slots the battery is a 3470 mah battery and uh, there is a hard drive uh, this is where the hard drive is wi-fi chip is a ngf wi-fi chip so another ngf uh, m.2 ssd you can put over here so let's start uh, with the battery because that is the first thing that we need to remove uh, before doing any upgrade so for removing the battery one two and three screws have to be removed okay and just remove the battery it is held over here so just remove it and the battery will be in front of you so this is the battery that you need to buy if you want to buy and replace maybe say two years from today this is the part number tf03xl and this is the battery you need to buy two triple six megahertz memory that uh, you need to buy this is a ddr4 low voltage memory that you need to buy so once you have it in hand uh, another the ram upgradability of this particular laptop is up to 32 gb so 16 gb plus 16 gb up to 32 gb you can upgrade as of now in the market 8 gb is very easily available so 8 plus 8 16 gb is an immediate uh, possibility so take a similar ram like this and uh, you can upgrade the you can just take the ram and uh, insert it over here just just put it like this and just press it now coming to the hard drive the hard drive is not held by any screws it is just held by this one connector over here onto the motherboard this is the part which i don't like actually somehow uh, the folding of the cable it might lead to slowing down of the laptop so you just need to remove this particular notch over here you can see but this will not just remove it like this and uh, this gives away and you can remove the hard disk very easily and comfortably there are these uh, small little holders plastic holders you just need to remove them and put another hdd or ssd depending on your uh, requirement this, this is a 2.5 uh, sat hard drive slim one so you can take a similar if your hard drive has gone bad or a 2.5 inch uh, ssd sat ssd you need to remove this connector if you want to completely remove the hard drive this connector very easily comes off and just need to take another hard drive like this and uh, put the connector and put it back very very easily a straightforward design and the good part uh, is it has a m.2 This is the keyboard connector. In another video, we'll show you how to basically replace the keyboard, not in this one. And uh, this is the entire motherboard. If you want to change the CMOS cell, let us see the CMOS cell is visible. No, it is not. I think it is on the other side of the motherboard. So another video will show you how to do that. There's a CPU fan. If you want to replace the fan or if you want to clean the fan up, one, two, three screws and this connector you need to remove and uh, you can replace the fan. Coming to the Wi-Fi chip here, this is an NGFF Wi-Fi chip. Just take this. Uh, uh, particular uh, the screw has to be removed and uh, these are the Wi-Fi connectors antenna connectors and uh, you can take another Wi-Fi chip NGFA Wi-Fi chip and you can again insert it back just like this and uh, put the screw back Now get me let me get the m.2 sata slot up close for you this is the m.2 the long one from here till here this is where the screw of the ssd will fit 
this is the touchpad cable in a scene uh, if the touchpad cable is not working you just need to replace this this is the vga lvd cable which connects to the display the hinges also seem to be pretty sturdy sturdier than uh, before because uh, the two screws that are holding onto the back base are uh, uh, pretty deep and uh, this is a good thing to have two screws most laptops have only one screw in the hinge on the base so it's a good thing that they have done all right so i think uh, we should start reassembling it back All right, so we have reassembled the laptop back, and uh, we have basically shown you how to put in a M.2 SSD, the long one, the photo of which is coming up on your screen right now. And we have also shown you how to replace the hard drive with another hard drive or an SSD. It is a 2.5 SATA hard drive that you have to do. Or if you want to put a caddy instead of the DVD writer, you can remove the DVD writer using this particular video. As well as uh, we've shown you how to replace and upgrade the RAM of this particular laptop. DDR4, the maximum RAM upgradeability is up to 32 GB. DDR4, two triple DDR4 low voltage memory. And uh, we've also shown you how to replace the Wi-Fi chip. It is a NGFF uh, Wi-Fi chip. You can also take a M.2 NGFF chip SSD and uh, install it there. So pretty much everything is covered in this particular laptop. Hope you liked the video guys, we've taken a lot of pain to make this video up. Uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. All these parts are available on our website techstore.co.in.